Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to install a trail vote power adapter to the trunk of your car. This way you have auxiliary power back there. This should be a pretty quick install, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to be installing the power adapter to my Subaru Crosstrek. To make the install easier, I would suggest getting some fuse taps, some heat shrink, and some 14 gauge wire. This way you have enough room to run it from the front of the car to the back of the car. And the heat shrink and fuse taps will just make it easier to wire everything together and get it powered by your fuse box. There's two ways you can go about wiring this up. You can have it to a constant power source, so that way it always has power whether the car is off or on. Or you can fuse tap it into an auxiliary fuse port, and that way it only has power when you turn the car on. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to be using it to charge a power bank that I'm going to have in the trunk and I don't want it to drain the battery when the car is off. So that way it's only charging when I have the car on and I don't got to worry about it. So I'm going to be using 14 gauge wire to wire this up with and I'm also going to tap it into a fuse tap. So that way I can just pull an existing auxiliary fuse out and then plug the fuse tap in its place. So if you see the fuse tap has two different ports on it. The top one's for the fuse that you're replacing and then the bottom one's for the new fuse. So what you're going to do first is get the wire and the fuse tap and then use the heat shrink wrap and go and run it over the wire. And then you're going to strip the wire. You just really need about a, maybe half an inch. And uh, wire strippers are the easiest way to do this. So just put it in there, give it a nice twist, and then pull it out. And you know, that gives you enough just to stick it into the clamp. And then you can also use the wire strippers to clamp it down with. And, you know, make sure it's nice and snug so it doesn't come out because then you have to rewire the whole thing. Okay, once you have the wire clamped down and it's nice and snug, you're gonna use the heat shrink, push it over the clamp. You know, kind of make sure the clamp's in the middle so you have plenty of room on both sides. And then you can use a lighter for this. If you do use a lighter, just make sure you move it and don't get it too close because you don't want to actually catch it on fire. But I'm gonna use a heat gun. And uh, it doesn't take much, it'll shrink up pretty fast. on high. And then that's it. That's really all you need. So in most cars, the fuse box is located on the driver's side, somewhere on the bottom side of the dash. I'm going to wire this up to a 20 volt fuse that's already in there that powers the trail volt adapter that came with the car. I'm not going to plug it up yet though. I'm going to do that last. That way I'm not working the top wire. So I'm not going to plug the fuse up yet, but I am going to make sure I have enough wire up front before I run the cable to the back. That way I know I have enough to play with when I do go to hook it up. And I'm going to run it under the trim. Let's hear And it's pretty easy. You probably don't even have to pop it off. You can just shove it under. And then I'm going to go all the way to the back. Then I'm going to run it under here. And then go under the seat and then come right out to the trunk. It should be pretty simple. I already have one or two cables ran under it. and it was, So I do have the trim piece popped up a little bit. Just so I know I can get it deep enough in there. And I'm going to keep it on the rows for now. And just run it like that. That way I know I have enough wire. And really just, you know, you can shove it under here. And keep walking your way back. All right, so I got the cable ran underneath this panel here, and it's going under the seat, and it's coming out right here in the trunk. And then I'm going to wire the plug right here. Now that I have the cables ran back here, I'm going to strip this end of them. So just put it in the 14 gauge, give it a nice little twist, and then just pull. I actually want a little bit more than that, so I'm going to do it again. Just give it a nice little twist and then pull. And then uh, same with the ground wire. 
and I'll just twist it, should be fine. Okay, so now we've got both ends stripped. That's probably a little bit more than I need, but it'll work. And now that I have the cable stripped, I have the power adapter and it's already stripped. So I'm gonna put my heat shrink on. You know, just kind of put it on, slide it down. I'll put this one on, slide it down. And I should probably use wire connectors for this, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna twist it and make sure it's nice and snug. And with the heat shrink, it should be enough to hold it in place. Mm. Then run that over it, make sure it's nice and in the middle. Well, let me grab the heat gun and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to hold it up. Right, there you go, they're nice and snug. I'll be careful with it because it is really hot. Um, you can also use a lighter, but just be very careful on it because you don't want to catch it on fire. Okay, now I'm going to pour that fuse out and uh, put my fuse tap in. All right, I have the fuse tap in under the dash and coming out right here. When you buy these fuse taps, they actually come with replacement fuses because they're typically smaller than the ones you have in your car. So the fuse I pulled out was a 20 amp. So I used the supply 20 amp fuse and stuck it in the fuse tap. And then the new power source is going to be 15 amps. So that's what I have up top. So you can always tell which one's rich because there will be a power cord running to the fuse tap. And that's going to be for the new part. Before I put the fuse back in, I want to ground it first. So I actually already have some ground wires under my dash for my light. So I'm just going to tap into that. But you can always do it somewhere in the trunk. Just find a bare spot on your trunk with the metal and just screw it into that. I just already have this here so that's how I'm going to do it. So I got everything ran. It's coming out right here. And so if I did everything right there should be no power when I plug this in. All right so far everything looks good. So I'm going to unplug it. Come start the core. All right started the car. I'm going to come back here, plug it up again, and there should be power. And there we go. Uh, it's reading 14 volts right now because the car's on. Uh, if I just had the key turned and the car wasn't actually running, it would read 12 volts. But there it is. I'm probably going to end up melting this in here so I can just plug my power station right up into that. But I'm going to do that another day. All right, so that was a super easy install. Didn't take that long at all. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Peace.